that's great. Th thanks, Tom. <clears throat> oh, we're starting. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Aiden, and today we have it's a very special day because we have a very special interview. The man who will be interviewing today is Richard Feynman, a Nobel Prize winner of 1965 for physics and the man behind Feynman's double slit experiment. Now, let's go to Aiden on the interviewing field. Thanks, Aiden. We're here right now with the man himself, Richard Feynman. It's Feynman. No one cares. <clears throat> We're going to be interviewing him about his life, about his life and his accomplishments. Okay, first, can you tell me about your life? Well, I was born in New York on May 11th, 1918, and died February 15, 1988, to abdominal cancer. Thank you for that insightful information. Now, can you tell me about how you won the Nobel Prize? Well, I won the Nobel Prize in 1965 for my work connecting 19th century electromagnetic field theory to 20th century quantum mechanics. Is there any way that it can be explained in simple terms? Like I told the last reporter, there must be a way, but I don't know what it is. Next, can you tell us some facts about yourself? Well, some facts are I played the bongos and I helped make the atomic bomb. Oh, yes, yes, that must be the Manhattan Project. Can you tell us about that? I suppose. I worked at Los Alamos and some of the th things I did to help are my experiment of the water boiler, which pro provided further data on nuclear chain reactions. Also, I developed the formula relating Criticality and implosion efficiency, including beta Feynman formula. Okay, well, you may now go f back to facts about yourself. Do that again. Okay, um, I pioneered the quantum computer. My original research is still being used today to create modern quantum computers. Okay, tell me about the Challenger investigation. In 1986, after the explosion of the Space Shuttle Challenger, I was part of the P Presidential Commission that investigated the cause of the shuttle's explosion. We figured out that the O-wing was the problem. It was a design flaw where the shuttle was launched in the cold weather and the O-wing did not hold together. Okay, next, can you tell me about your most famous quote? One of my most famous quotes is, the first principle is that you must not fool yourself and you are the easiest person to fool. Very nice quote. Well, that is about the end of the interview. Back to you, Aiden. Also, um, thank you for having me on this interview. Oh, we're going back on? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks, Aiden. And thank you for watching our interview. And we learned lots about Richard Feynman. Or Feynman, whatever. Goodbye, everyone. 88 to abominable cancer. Abdominal cancer. Uh, what did I say? I said abominable <laughs> Abominable cancer. He ate to a abdominal cancer. February fifteenth to abdominal cancer. Abdominal cancer. Let go. Did I do it right? Okay. Smolder.